If you've been watching the news, you probably heard about the guy who got sucked into an MRI machine. He was there with his wife and he went into the MRI room to assist her when he got sucked in by his necklace that he wore on his neck. The first instinct will be to say to turn off the MRI machine, but turning off an MRI machine is not that simple. An MRI is a magnet, which means that even if you switched off the computers, the magnetic field is still going. The only way to switch off an MRI is to do something they call quenching. The MRI is cooled by helium to about minus 269 degrees Celsius or about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As long as this helium is there, the MRI machine is still on. To switch off the MRI, you need to remove all of the helium from the core of that machine. To do this, it requires specialized personnel, specialized equipment, and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And not only that, it takes about 40 minutes. It is unclear why this gentleman was allowed in the MRI room with such a necklace, but I will tell you though, it shouldn't have been allowed to happen. The takeaway here is that if you, the patient, are going for an MRI, or if a family member is going with you, none of you should have any metal on you. No earrings, no necklaces, no piercings, no belt buckles. Even the nail polish that has metals, I think they're called cat eye, that we move around with a magnet and gives it, makes it all pretty. So no metal at all. Unfortunately, this tragedy could have been easily avoided. My condolences to the patient and her family.